A corrupt politician re realizes he's being arrested. Let's check it out. Entitled and corrupt politicians are everywhere. But what happens when these same politicians actually get arrested? I don't have to talk to you. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking to you. Here are three examples. Bro thinks he's above the law, man. Come on now. Examples of politicians who got handed a piece of justice pie. Starting with Martin Hyde, an election candidate whose actions were so shocking it cost him his career. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sebastian Sarah's at the police department. You're on audio and video recording. You're being recorded. You know, like when you call a call center or something. You're being recorded. Of quality and assurance purposes. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were He's about to lose his job for speeding, guys. You were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitville. You don't need to point at me, officer. I'm not pointing at you, I'm pointing in the direction where it was. <laughs> Straight up pointing, bro. Find this dude in a suit and everything. Let's check it out. I got a new phone case, man. I didn't put it on the best, but it's a it's a beautiful phone case, man. I used to have a clear case, and uh, it's going in the trash, bro. It's coming apart. Go right ahead, sir. Can I see your <laughs> Yes, sir, I do. Guys, she's just not having it. She she knows she knows she's in the right here. I think, guys. Know what I mean? In case you don't know who this is, meet Martin Hyde. When this traffic stop occurred, he was a candidate in the congressional election. Cancel, cancel culture, bro. That is an interesting shirt for sure, bro. For Florida's six. <laughs> Guys, with this shirt, and then he gets canceled because of this um, this whole encounter right here. It's kind of is that ironic? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know the true uh, definition of irony, but uh, is that pretty close, right, guys? 16th District. He was trying to become the head politician for his area. However, it seems like this has made him feel as though he's above the law, but this cop is about to show him just how wrong he is. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Mm -hmm. Can you do this? Yes, sir. Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Sir, can I Bro, you think if he was more polite here, she would have just let him off the hook, guys? I don't have How long have you been there? Seven years, sir. Can I see your registration, please? Martin's demeanor already feels. I know, we're very, very, um. He's just asking, acting very like dismissive, guys. In my opinion, bro, he's he's not being the most respectful. Threatening. He looks almost as though he's suppressing his anger and like he thinks this is an unfair situation. But being a like, come on now, man. Even the president could get pulled over. I don't think the president really even drives with their the president, right, guys? Politician makes you no more clear of the law. So I don't think the president get, could get pulled over, but. Somebody like, you know, celebrities get pulled over all the time. Sometimes go to jail. You know, 6 9 was uh, recently arrested and stuff. It's such a beautiful case, man. I love it, I love it. Alright. Uh, ...than a regular citizen. In fact, it should be the exact opposite. But instead of realizing that, he decides to start threatening the officer even more. You're not gonna give me a registration, sir. You can arrest me? I'm asking you if you're gonna produce me with your registration. You don't have it on you? Hey, Boston. He's being too combative here, man. It's not the best thing, I think. Look at it, man. It's so cool, right? Look. Go cool. Chief, Tell him how rude you've just been to me. Blame the speaker. Tell him what to do. Okay, sir. Are you this is actually a uh, backfiring, guys. You know, he's just demanding respect. He's a congressional candidate, man. If he's to produce your That's all he is, though. Registration. I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. Okay, Why sir. Doing sir, because you were. Look, he has a phone case promoting probably like his, <laughs> um, his election and stuff, right, guys? Speeding and you were texting. Alright. Hang tight. Call the supervisor. 
I just spoke to you once. Okay. I just need to go. You want your people to work? Do you know Russian immigrant status that makes people like this? 14 dispatch, can you have my supervisor respond, please? Yeah. And then we'll see who goes. Okay. Bro. He's being like super unnecessarily arrogant, man. What What is wrong with this dude, bro? He must have just got, you know, he got in over his head here, bro. And I'm sure he's very embarrassed about what happened, guys. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think, I don't think he's proud of this moment here. First off, Martin tries to force the officer to comply with his demands, threatening her by saying not following his orders is a career. Like, he doesn't know the law much at all, guys. And I'm... I'm I feel so embarrassed for him, guys. Not gonna lie. Fear decision. This implies that should she not release him, he'll use his connections to get her fired. Secondly, it seems that while she was running his paperwork, Martin has done some of his own research on the officer, insulting her for being a Russian immigrant. This statement is. Damn, bro, that's pretty, pretty rude as well, bro. Just looked at the badge and decided to come at her like that. Of course, offensive, but you have to wonder what his motive for making it was. Did he want to seem xenophobic on camera, or was he trying to threaten her by claiming he knows everything about her? Either way, he certainly doesn't feel like stopping yet. You gonna watch oh. paperwork? Doing like a, a, a Google search, bro. While, while he's being, uh, you know, detained, oh, nearly detained, guys. You think he's gonna uh, actually end up with uh, being arrested, guys? Like, he could have just took it and uh, left, guys. He didn't have to escalate it like that. Sir, you're gonna be well, issued a citation. She's still being respectful here. Wow. I mean, that's good, but, but <clears throat> this guy's just being disrespectful still. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm gonna go through what I need to go through. No, I have no interest. Alright, you are gonna be issued a citation. Well, Shut you can already issue a citation for that. For what? For failure to produce your registration. Alright, right. sir, so you are you gonna. Stupid. You know what he said about you? You wanna hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. Yeah. You know what he said about you? It feels like they, they deal with like rude um, people they pull over all the time, so she's kind of like. Not even phase that hard about it, right, guys? If you fail to complete, before, like, okay. and he's gonna have you again, and that's fine. It's not fine. What you said is fine, sir. I'm a law-abiding citizen, and you're being bloody okay. rude to me. If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a private submission of payment, as they do you you require a certificate of completion. If you sign up for it, you must complete it. Otherwise, they will go ahead and suspend your license. The officer is handling this perfectly, and it's clearly making Martin angry. He's trying. I know, right? She's trying to grind her gears, and it's just she's a. Uh, she's got iron armor, bro. Not gonna lie. Trying to scare her off by repeating all the things her supervisor said, being extremely rude to her by telling her to shut up, and making amusing statements such as "I'm a law-abiding citizen." In his world, it feels as though he isn't a citizen at all because the laws seem to be completely different for him. Are you still waiting for a supervisor or are you leaving? Brad, you just coming down. Okay. Very good. Oh, by the way, just friend of mine. I'm sorry? Okay. After a few more minutes of this, a second unit arrives on the scene to witness Martin's entitled behavior continue. So, that's why another unit. You someone a certificate, uh, ticket for no registration when they've got the... It was bro trying to go viral or something, man. Registration. She's trying to make her spurs, but it's a big mistake. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. Wow, man. And I just wanted you to witness it. Know that, it, yeah, the registration was right there. And she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said, the first... Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. I've lived here for 25 years. I've represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. This is the first time anybody has been disrespectful to me it's the manner and the nature of it outrageous yeah, yeah. why would you do that all, all this for speeding and texting mind you guys why eventually the officer's supervisor turns up to have a conversation with martin pretty much nothing new like he, he could have been you know respectful he probably would have let him go or even you know 
Wow, it's just super confrontational, man. It was sad, but Martin was told that the bi or even just like you know, pay the fine or whatever she issued it. I never got a fine like this before, but body cam footage will be reviewed, and if there's anything wrong with it, he'll be the first to know. It's also important to mention that even though Martin's shameful behavior was evident throughout the entire event, and that the female officer was in the right the entire time, none of her colleagues stuck up for her, with her supervisor even seeming angry at her. Stay in your car. You can go to the station. Yep, go to the station. In the end, the footage was reviewed, and it was concluded that the female officer did nothing wrong. The footage was also made public quickly after the event, forcing a public apology from Martin and... Dang, bro. I think a public apology is, you know, the right thing to do here, man. Resulting in his devastating... Just because he knew... Just because he knew, uh... A supervisor or whatever like loss in the election he was also issued citations for failure to produce registration texting while driving and speeding but councilman matthew riley's took this to another level when he was caught with a pipe in his hands completely passed out Do you have any weapons on you? no not at all hey bro L legit smoking a uh... No way, dude, really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Well, arrest is gonna come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. The officer was shocked because Matthew's ID told him he was actually a chairman of the city's Republican Party, and therefore, a pretty influential person. Wait, sorry. Dang, bro, I wonder how long he's been addicted and just straight up going through the ranks of, a. Uh... The city and stuff. But listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, I, like, because he has a body cam camera, he can't really make it slide or whatever. You know what I mean? Because what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so arrest is going to come here, oh, and they're, they're going to check you out. You know, you, you, as far as I know, there's no anywhere, so I no. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. The conversation is pretty calm on both ends, but Matthew is clearly worried about what effects this could have on his life Damn, bro. and career. They then start to discuss the specifics of the situation, and the officer learns exactly how he got into this position. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was, a, it was a relapse. I've been clean for 13 years. Alright. Just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Okay. Do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why someone literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I, no, not that I know of. Despite everything, the officer still has to treat this seriously, and therefore calls another unit over to search the vehicle. Inside, they find a suspicious substance and decide to test it. Be careful, because he was on the nod, or like, it yeah, seems like sure anyways. It's mixed with something else, but. Do you need the scythe? Damn, they even called, like, fire department or whatever, like. Yeah, we use that. Be careful with that stuff. There's, I don't know if that's fentanyl lace or not. There's weight all over it. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing because I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah. Usually. Well, right away. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Back. I can test it for fentanyl. Test so. it for both, just to make right. sure that I don't know we're dealing with. Well, can you just snap a picture of that? The powder was tested again later and came back positive as fentanyl too. As implied by Matthew himself, most people who consume fentanyl this way have no idea they're doing it, as distributors often dangerously lace the original drug with it to make it seem better or stronger. Obviously, this isn't a great look for me. Damn, bro. They probably did it when I was addicted as well, bro, because uh, occasionally I I'd be just super sleepy as well, man. That's... Didn't, didn't expect that, guys. Matthew, and he was promptly placed under arrest after a medical check. Yeah, I know. It's not like I have, oh. have an option here, man. Sorry. No, you're going to need Listen, I, this is... A councilman, guys. Terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we got to do what we got to do. Hey, at least he was respectful the whole time, like, unlike the other guy. Do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you, 
And you'll say to us a month from now, good best thing that ever happened. Yes, they all fell off. A nice sentiment from the cop, but that's not exactly the way it went. Matthew was rightly only hit with a single charge of drug possession, but he was pressured into giving up his position as chairman. Most shockingly of all though, just a month later, Matthew was arrested again, this time for an array of allegations with a 12 year old. But at least Matthew- What's that? All bad, all bad. This guy went downhill quick, man. Matthew remained calm and polite with officers in his stop, a complete contrast to how Police Chief Jonathan Hemphill behaved when he was pulled over for having too dark of a tint on his windows. A police chief, guys, what the heck? I wonder if he was active, police chief, or not. Sorry guys, I'm just fiddling around with my old case, man. I had this for so long. Now it's just, just I just uh, I ripped it apart, man. But it was just such a good case. But we're making upgrades here, guys. Guys, my, 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 I had a screen protector that didn't even cover the full screen, and now this new screen protector it actually covers the whole screen, man. So I have like pretty good drop protection here, and I'm super happy, man. It's just the the volume buttons are pretty hard to press, so that's about it. Sorry, sorry. I blinked my blue lights at you to let you know who I was. Yes, sir. Well, we didn't know with it, you know, that's not a government tag. That is, a, that is a unofficial tag. Right. That, that tag's not even on file. I see. Yes. Well, we have to catch up the bill to run it and everything like that, sir. So, so I won't blink my blue lights at you next time. I'll let well, you just sit there. I was just speaking. I'm the police chief in Zebra. Well, nice to meet you, sir. Matt, Matt Polk worked for me. Your I chief worked for me. Yes, sir. There's no need to get upset. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset because I spoke to you. When I come by and now you're pulling me Sir, over. I've never met you a day in my life. I understand Where? that. Why are you being hostile? Easy. I don't I don't have to talk to you. Okay. Easy. I'm not, I'm not talking. Damn bro. This is being as arrogant as the first guy, man. This this could end bad. This could end bad, guys. He might be going in handcuffs soon. The officers are immediately met with aggression despite this being a pretty minor stop. After they realized it was a fellow officer, the the chief would likely have been able to explain away the window tint and let them know that it was an official police vehicle with clearance. But Jonathan's aggression throws all of that out the window. While ma yeah, he could have just did that, man. Making the officers believe that something maybe isn't right here. Yeah. What? Uh oh, do you think he's going to be doing drugs as well, guys? She's about bringing your driver's license. All right. That's not Yeah. Uh, first, when we ran the, the tag, it came back to like a Dodge Ram, so we're just confirming it's not. Confirming a Dodge it's not. Ram. Yes, sir. It's a ghost tag. Yes, sir. We're making sure it's not. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're just. You must have run it wrong. wrong. You must have run it wrong because you want to come back to a Dodge so, Ram. We, we were confirmed it. They, they let us know. So, so it's still coming back. So he's being respectful as well, the the officer. To a Dodge Ram now, sir. Can, can I ask why you're so uh, upset? Is it still coming back to a Dodge Ram? No, now? We, we got it fixed. Why are you so upset? No, you didn't fix it. Did is it still uh, coming back to a Dodge Ram right now? No, it came back nine on five. That's right. Because okay. you run it wrong, sir. I I'm trying to be to respectful with you. I understand okay? that. I understand. I'm not. That. I'm not raising my voice. I understand that. You, right. I understand. All right. That. Let's. But I'm trying to tell you, the one only okay. thing I done wrong was spoke. Y'all never would have pulled me over if I had to flick my blue lights. No, sir. No, we were gonna pull you. I'm no, not going won't. to lie to you. I'm no, telling you, you straight up, okay? Okay. All right. But, like I said, you know, there's people out here in person, police officer with blue lights. Are you throwing my license? Is she throwing my license? If she is, get them for me. She'll bring it to you, sir. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm just Pray trying to. to I'm trying to talk with you. I don't want to talk anymore. Oh no! Now the officer is raising his voice a little, guys. You think he's a little bit frustrated? All righty. Wonder what's going to happen after this. Yes, very unprofessional. Again, this stop was incredibly minor, and all the officers really wanted to do was check that this was in fact a police officer and not just an impersonator. But unfortunately for Jonathan, he escalated this to a completely unnecessary and unprofessional level, and received heavy criticism for it. After a short investigation, it was decided that Jonathan would receive an oral reprimand and he would be required to attend at least six months of anger management and de-escalation classes. Damn, bro. He just had to be respectful, man. He would have been sent on his way. Like, you know what I mean? He just... Uh, they gotta follow protocol, guys, you know? What if it was? You enjoy true crime video? Oral I mean, it does look like official police vehicle, but... Way to go. The first clip officers, pitiful and shameful. The other two cops that, that showed up didn't have your back. I know, right? I'm pretty pissed about that. Politicians should be shouldn't be letting any position of power process a female officer. The amount of disrespect and unprofessionalism for a speeding ticket is absolutely ridiculous. Literally for a three minutes stop if he kept it cool. I know, right? 
lying is not a job. People lying is not a job, politicians. Yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sad, but I say Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Check out um Doctor Insanity in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi, you're more than welcome. And I'll see you guys next one. Later, guys. Uh, any donations are appreciated.